And today, the country will take time to remember everyone taken from us during the pandemic. And right here in the Valley, one group is reflecting on how many of their colleagues have died because of the virus. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joining us now live with their thoughts on this coronavirus remembrance day. Sean. Yeah, Kalina and Dave, the city of Las Vegas and Clark County will both join the country this afternoon in recognizing Coronavirus Remembrance Day. The, it has already been a year since the virus reached our shores, and the Culinary Union says that it has had a lasting impact. Culinary Union workers in the hospitality field have struggled as they try to keep a roof over their heads, stay healthy, and keep the resort corridor open. During the shutdown last year, 98% lost their jobs. Now, half are still unemployed. Secretary Treasurer Giocondo Orguello Klein says that even more tragically, 94 members or someone in their family have been killed by COVID-19 since March. On this Remembrance Day, that's what will be most uh, fr front and center in her mind. The first moment we had to take um, and think about it is in the loss of the families uh, and uh, respect that because, uh, um, you know, um, it's something they never going to get it back. Argoel Klein says that many of her members will also set the challenges aside and reflect on the strengths that got them to this point, the people who helped and encouraged them, and the hope that comes with the vaccine. The city of Las Vegas will light Main Street, the Gateway Arches, and City Hall in honor of today, and Clark County will broadcast a live ceremony at 2.15, where they will light the rotunda at the government center in honor of the thousands of lives lost in southern Nevada alone. Now, you can participate as well by lighting a candle, setting it in your window, and taking a moment to reflect. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.